Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Guys channel. How are you all doing today? I hope that you all are doing very well at this minute in time or at least as best as you can be with all of the circumstances that are going on at the minute. Especially if for some reason that you do have a form of coronavirus or Chinese virus or Wuhan virus or whatever way that you actually want to call the virus that can and does kill people because apparently using that type of a situation and people's actual deaths is okay because politicizing and making points out of people's deaths is apparently a good thing especially if you are Extinction Rebellion or should I say a part or a front for Extinction Rebellion because we're going to talk today about Extinction Rebellion from the East Midlands and how they have decided that there is a particular positive of this virus that's going around and yeah it's exactly what you think it's going to be exactly what you think it's going to be so see you very soon let's get into it Hello there everybody and welcome back. What we're going to do is I'm going to take you through this little bit of a rabbit hole to begin with because I do believe that this is mainly the positions that people do actually hold. Though there are always going to be positions that people don't attest to because in any group or any situation there's always differences in their ideas. But there is enough people that would probably agree with this and have the same idea as this. I will show you and actually have to say and preface this beforehand that when Extinction Rebellion East Midlands did this there was outcry from the Extinction Rebellion groups, Twitter handles, so on and so forth. I will link to a couple that are down below and a couple here so people can know that there was actual outrage from Extinction Rebellion on this. It's not just a one-way supporting of this and to be honest with you if that's where it went I wouldn't have done this as a story. To be honest with you, I really wouldn't have done. But let's let's start from the beginning, shall we? So, Earth is healing. The air and water is clearing. Corona is the cure. Humans are the disease. Now, this is from a Twitter handle called XR East Midlands, Extinction Rebellion East Midlands. And they have a picture down below of the coronavirus saying that Corona is the cure, humans are the disease... Extinction Rebellion. In other words, saying that the corona is killing off humans and that's a good thing because we're apparently a disease to the planet. Some people may agree, some people may disagree, but generally that's praising the deaths from the virus and, you know, being happy that human beings are literally dying from the virus. But apparently that's all well and good for Extinction Rebellion East Midlands. Again, there were a lot of Extinction Rebellion that actually condemned this and well done to them. But we do move on to the fact of the Extinction Rebellion Rebellion UK. Let's go with that. The, the Twitter handle that's supposed to represent the whole of the UK comes up and says in a Twitter format as a statement important. We are aware that far right groups have put out stickers with messaging that is not in line with what XR believes or stands for. Please get in touch with us if you see any anywhere. Look after yourselves as a reminder of our position and they link down to what their position is down below. So again, I have a problem with the idea of this being a far-right group. It goes to the trope or the idea that anybody that disagrees with us or goes too far or has done something wrong in this case is apparently somehow far right. Somehow an Extinction Rebellion group that's been around for months, if not almost years, is now coming to the point of them doing something wrong and now being called a far right group. Even though that you can look and see that they have been following each other for quite a long time. So it's not something that's just happened out of the blue. It's not a Twitter handle that's just come out out of the blue just to try and push this as an agenda or anything. No, Extinction Rebellion East Midlands has been around for a little bit. Again, go and have a look on the timelines for yourself. Don't take my word for it. The problem is with this is that it's right wing. 
far right. Now, anybody that we don't disagree with, or we do disagree with, sorry, is apparently far right or far left. And don't get me wrong, the right do this as well. Anybody that they doesn't agree with their point of view, they're now far left. They're now far right. But those pejoratives, those descriptors, apparently apply to anybody that has a dissenting opinion. And that's the problem that I have. And I think it's very interesting that Andrew Neil. now if anybody that doesn't know who Andrew Neil is, he works for the BBC, has done for quite a while, has a couple of columns and stuff like that. He's a very, very balanced uh, presenter. He's very, very balanced in his opinion, or at least presents himself to be that way. And he picks up and actually asks them, are these far-right groups, Extinction Rebellion East Midlands, linking to the original tweet from East Midlands? Now, surprisingly enough, the Extinction Rebellion UK actually reply to Andrew Neil, and this is their reply. Correct. This account is a white supremacist front intended to discredit our movement. We have always condemned fascism in whatever form. We abhor these vile posters. Please report the account to at Twitter, our official position, re the actual thing there. Again, so we've gone from far right for being eco-warriors and eco-terrorists, eco-fascists, whatever word that you want to use to describe these people from East Kingston Rebellion East Midlands, to now far right is now escalated to white supremacists. When, for instance, if you actually look at the actual sticker that they put out, it has nothing to do with the idea of whiteness. It has nothing to do with the idea of any form of race or racism whatsoever. In actual fact, they are condemning the whole of humanity. Now, don't get me wrong. When you hate something, you should at least hate somebody in equal forms. And generally... Hating the whole human race, I don't think that you can get any more equal than that. Equality at its finest, eh, chaps? But that's the point. Anybody that's not on the same wavelength as us, anybody that's not with us on that, is apparently wrong. Is apparently not good enough. Is apparently far right. Is a white supremacist. And, again... This does go from the, the right that's talking about the left. Oh, they're far left. Oh, they're a commie. So don't get me wrong. It's not a case of it just goes one way. But I really want to call this out because this is their own group and their own identity that is actually attacking Extinction Rebellion East Midlands of calling them a far right group because they, they support some form of eco-terrorism, which is generally a left wing position, which fine, whatever. I think that it is wrong for them to do that, but it's the point of them attacking them because they have those positions by calling them far right. Not that the actual actions are wrong, but their position is far right because they've been caught and they're doing something wrong. So then going on to the fact of them calling them a white supremacist front. So we've gone to the two pejoratives that would absolutely discredit any form in the media of any sort of credibility of being far right and a white supremacist. It's amazing how that has just completely eaten itself, if you want to put it that way. Completely eaten themselves. So they're white supremacist and far right, even though they are, you know, East Midlands. Now, on the original post that I showed you, Extinction Rebellion Sheffield respond to the bit where they were showing you about the stickers about the corona stickers about corona is the cure humanity or humans are the disease so on and so forth extinction rebellion sheffield one of the dissenters if you will put please reconsider this the message does not follow xr's principles and values in this movement we fight for the protection of all life humans are not the disease the system that we have built may be toxic but we are beautiful now Again, if you ever wanted to understand where Extinction Rebellion's um, political points actually lie, it's not a case of they actually want to make the world a better place. No, it's that they see that capitalism is the forefront of what is wrong with the world and the way that we get rid of that is by destroying capitalism. That's how we save the world. And we have to bring in the form of socialism because apparently capitalism will never do that. Though, taking politics aside... For a minute. Exar East Midlands actually responds. 
The point of activism is to shock people out of their complacency. Like art, it is meant to provide a different point of view that we are accustomed. We are pointing out from the perspective of the earth, humans behave like a disease. The idea is not to be. Now, again, you can probably see at the bottom there you've got Extinction Rebellion uh, lid in there as well. I'm not sure where that is, to be fair. But they're all dissenting opinions. Now, they actually are talking to Extinction Rebellion East Midlands like that they actually represent Extinction Rebellion. As in, they are actually saying that you are not a front, you are actually part of Extinction Rebellion. Please reconsider this form of tactics of going against it. But, but I hear you say, what makes you think that Extinction Rebellion actually have that type of idea? Well, the good thing is, Extinction Rebellion actually reply to Extinction Rebellion Croydon. Yes, one particular area, they, they're, they're that Pacific sometimes. Where, sorry, what? Is this a real exile account? There have been over 17,000 deaths worldwide. That's no cure. To suggest coronavirus is a good thing is eco-fascism. Now again, I disagree with eco-fascism. I, I think it's eco-terrorism, but besides the point. But Extinction Rebellion East Midlands goes on to link to a tweet from somebody else who is saying, well, Earth is recovering. Now, I will link to that actual tweet down below. East Midlands XR actually puts down, it is not eco-fascism, responding to Croydon, obviously, when it's Earth's natural response to humanity's environmental aggression. I suggest you read this tweet that gave us the idea. Now, I will go in and read what it is at this point in time, but let's just quickly have a little listen to that again. It's not eco-fashion. When it's Earth's natural response to humanity's environmental aggression. Now again, you could argue what's the point of the environmental aggression and so on and so forth. You could argue that. But it's interesting that humanity is the problem. Humanity in itself is, is the problem in itself. And we are the disease. So this person obviously thinks that way. And it's nature's response that to create a disease that was given off from a bat, if you want to go down that road, or a lab, depending what way you want to go down, but was created either by natural selection or by artificial selection, whatever, it's a case of now that's a response into killing off all of humanity. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's an interesting idea, but come on, come on now. So Tom, where they got this idea from, goes, wow, Earth is recovering, air pollution is slowing down, water pollution is clearing up, natural wildlife returning home, coronavirus is Earth's vaccine, where the virus. So it's not that they've come out of their way to say that this is a white supremacist idea, this is a far right idea. No, this is what their, should we say, ideology takes them to as a logical conclusion. That humanity is what the disease is. It's just that we created apparently capitalism. Capitalism is bad. So the reason why I did this whole story and why I wanted to cover it is not just because it's Extinction Rebellion and because Extinction Rebellion is eating itself and trying to push one of its own members, so to speak, into the idea of it being a far-right white supremacist group which is why I showed you how they got to their logical conclusion. Whether you think the conclusion is right or wrong is irrelevant at this point. It's to show you how and why they got to it. And it has nothing to do with the idea of it being white supremacy or the idea of them being far right. In actual fact, if you want, from a point of view, they could be classified as far left eco-terrorists. Now, again, admittedly, saying the same thing over and over again. But interesting the mainstream media have something to say about the coronavirus as well i wonder if you can guess of what it actually is so as you can see we are at the guardian and most people would say that the guardian is a uh left-leaning rag if you want to go down that road but let's let's look at the title shall we let's let's have a look at that shall we 
So the coronavirus outbreak. Nature is sending us a message, says the UN environmental chief. Interesting. It's a clear warning shot, experts say. Nature is sending us a message with the coronavirus pandemic and the ongoing climate crisis, according to the UN's environment chief. Anderson said humanity was placing too many pressures on the natural world with damaging consequences and warned that failing to take care of the planet meant not taking care of ourselves. Interesting. Leading scientists also said the COVID-19 outbreak was a clear warning shot. Given that far more deadly diseases exist in wildlife and that today's civilizations was playing with fire. They said it was almost always human behavior that caused diseases to spill over into humans. Interesting. It's almost like somebody that working for the UN that is apparently the UN's environment chief has come out and actually said something extremely similar to what Extinction Rebellion East Midlands has just said, where humans are the disease and COVID-19, the coronavirus, is the cure. Very interesting how mainstream media and mainstream ideas are maybe not as blunt as XR East Midlands, but are saying the same things. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch or to listen to this video. All the links are around at this minute in time. If you do feel like helping us out in any which way that you can, then please and thank you. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, check the description box down below for all the links for everything that I have just said. And when somebody tells you that they are trying to fight for the planet and making sure that the planet is a better place, ask them, do you actually want to plant trees or do you want to actually destroy capitalism? Because if it's the latter, then you're not actually saving the planet, are you? You're trying to change a political system to be able to benefit you. But hey-ho, let's carry on like we just don't know. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Bye-bye for now. Take care. And I'll see you all again real soon. Bye-bye for now.